Good day, everyone. We're back playing the Banner Saga. Actually, but since I record these in batches, I never left. This is recorded right after the last one. I actually haven't touched the thing. So, in the last battle, I won by a pretty slight margin. I've still got two injured fighters, and they'll be even worse fighters after this. Because you can have these guys fight, but they won't be as effective. And let's continue on. A black horde is forming at the tree line. Enough of this, says Ivor, glancing over his shoulder. We're going back. Then adds, Rook, I'm doing one more check of the houses around here. See if you can find anyone. Keep watch, obviously. As you turn to head back, a colossus has appeared around the side of a house. It silently looms over a let, its face an expressless stony mass. More terrifying than any roar it may have produced. Time seems to slow as it pulls back its enormous mace. Shoot it with an arrow. Shoot it with an arrow? As though second nature, you notch an arrow. A let is standing directly between you and the dredge, making the shot perilous at best. If you're only off by a few inches, okay, shoot to get her attention instead. Fire safely above the dredge to distract it. Ugh. I don't know. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Stop shooting. Shoot the arrow. You let go. A second passes like eternity. The arrow bounces off the dredge's face, inches away from what you think is an eye. It recoils and turns around, turns upon Alet again. Eagle rushes to her side. Ivor throws himself between them, catching the mace on his shield, and returns the favor, crushing the dredge's head with his shield point. When the dust settles, you can see that everyone is alright. <laughs> God, thanks for that. I can see that going pretty wrong. I wonder what the different options are. Let's get out of here, says Ivor, as he goes to check the last few houses nearby. Rook, see if you can find any more survivors and meet me in front of the hall. So I go to market, or I can go heroes. What's in the market? I haven't had market before. Borjor Av... Is that the same guy? He gets around. Swam dust. Powder crushed from unusual rocks of the Norfilian waste are often used to paint shields, adding to their strength. Okay. Sounds interesting. So one renown gets three. What does that mean? Oh, is that supplies? One renown gets three supplies? So I have enough for some swamp dust. I also have enough for some Borjorn on Bangor or whatever Rick that is. But I do have some units to promote, so I'm gonna do that first. So that takes renown as well. One or more units is injured. Injured units can still fight by the penalty to max strength equal to the number of days wounded. They heal as time passes, okay? Your items are shown at the bottom of the roster. Drag items onto units to equip them. Items can be equipped by characters of equal rank. Promote your units to equip higher ranked items. Click on an item for more information. Okay. I do have an item. When? Oh, Rook is it? Yeah. Lovely made by Hunter's wife to keep her daughter safe from arm. One armor and one strength plus one willpower. One armor and one strength. So what we'll do with some... She's injured already. But he could do with some... Yeah. I'm putting on him. And one of these guys is could be promoted. Oh, what's her story? Rook's daughter. Oh, is that their daughter? I didn't know that. Alette only vaguely remembers her. So daughter, uh, father and daughter went down in the last battle. <laughs> if you watched the last episode, I accidentally, uh, well, I accidentally um, made them both unconscious. Yeah, so they both kind of went down in the last battle. Uh, Alette only vaguely remembers her mother who died when she was a child. Since then, Alette spends most of her time with her father. Unimpressed by the traditional roles of other girls in town, she also become a hunter like her father, and in her spare time, she practices archery with Old Hyph, the wife of Shogar's chieftain, who has, has become a motherly figure to her. Oh, she has two kills. 
two kills. I don't remember the other guy I should kill. But I can promote her. Oh, increase your item rank and build to higher stats. Okay, continue. Confirm. Why wouldn't I want to promote her? So, it'd be great. What's this? That is break. Nat amount of natural. Okay, that would be great. So, this would be great. She's usually standing back. Uh, a little more of this wouldn't hurt. Can I increase that? I don't think so. She has to go up in rank. A little more of this too, in case she gets in the gets into a stick. What's this thing? Exertion. Okay. Let's give her a little more of this, just in case she gets in the thick of things. Okay. Is there anyone else I can promote? Did I ever get promoted? Oh, I can promote him. What's his story? When Sogar was young, Kogar was young, Ivor wandered into the town center, startling the settlers from Rundoff, who had barely seen, or rarely seen the Vral before. You remember the other Vral? They kind of had wan curly anchors? Uh, anchors. Antlers. This guy has big fat ones. Who had barely seen a Vral before. He's never said why he left Vral lands to help men build a small town, but each chieftain in Sogar's family line is happy to have him. He's known Rook since the man was young, and the two formed a fast kinship. He has three kills? Cool. Okay, let's promote this guy. Continue. Confirm. Oh, I only have nine renown left now. So, this guy, that would be great. And what else? Some guard break? Give him some another one of these. Let's give him some more of that. Okay, that's what I want. Damage and health. Yes, that'd be great. Uh, did my other guy Eagle? What's his story? A young boy growing up in Skogar without parents. Eagle spends a lot of time behind a battered metal shield, trained to be a fighter. If you know him well, call him Gil. Okay. He did not get promoted. And already promoted her. And Rook. Rook is a skilled hunter from a long line of woodsmen. We have lived in Skogar. Not, though none of his family have survived that the long, arid winters of the north. Since childhood, has been close friends with the town's resident Varl, Ivor. His talents quickly landed him in the position of Uthmaster of Skogar. And Rook wrestles with wanting to teach his daughter Alette to become a self-sufficient woman while also keeping her safe from harm. Something he was unable to do for his wife Aldous years ago. Okay, I can't promote him. And I only have nine renown. Okay, loading. Oh, I have 45 available. Is this Renown? Can I buy this? You need at least... Oh, I only have 9. Right. Okay. Let me... Oh. Okay. One Renown gets 3, and then there's 45 available. Okay, that makes sense. Oops. Wrong button. Let's go to him now. You find anyone? A few sent them inside. Gods, this is bad. I'm out of practice, Rook. Look, as long as I've known you, you've always wormed your way of talking about dredge. This would be a time to start talking. I can tell you they rarely stop for rest. The sooner we leave, the better. They'll follow us until we're tripping over tired women and children. Then they'll attack. Even after we're wiped out, they'll keep coming, trampling corpses in their wake. There's no end to them. How did anyone survive the Great Wars? Asked the Menders. I wasn't there. But I know you fought your fair share. Yeah, I killed enough slag for one lifetime. That's why you're going to have to save that's why you're going to save us now. Don't lay down on me. Come on, let's get inside. Ok. 
Okay, let's get inside. Rook, thank the gods you made it. Well, actually, it was unconscious. Should be dead. The great wall is the great wall. <laughs> the great hall is an utter din, filled as is with dozens of terrified families. Nice tattoo, buddy. Don't stop worrying yet. I have it. What in the depths is going on? Dreads milling around, ransacking houses. The chieftain's voice finds you, pushing through the crowd. Hey, she looks like the girl from Frozen. I mean, like the braid and stuff. And she's all dressed in the same kind of colors. They must have known we're here. Why have they attacked? Don't know. I wouldn't expect it to last. I made some decisions, but tell me straight. What would you both do in my place? I'd have left by now. They're already inside the doors. Not so easy, Rook. I trust Ivor on this. The chief inside a deep and heavy breath, slumping. He looks years older. I imagine us fighting back and saving the town. But nonsense. Ivor's right, of course. We can't just wait to be slaughtered. Where do we go if dredge are coming down from the north? Frostveller to the west is close and it has walls. I intend to f be free if Skogar and Wood push. Nobody left behind. I wouldn't. As they follow us, we're done. What do you suggest? Let me create a distraction, then go. I'll catch up on the road to Frostveller. Okay, that's the obvious answer. What if we set the town on fire? What exactly would that do? Ivor's right. I'll help with the distraction. Deathen thinks for a long moment. I didn't ask for advice just to ignore it. Nor Promise you're not throwing your lives away on this. That was a part of my plan, Ivor. Oh, Ivor? There's a question. Nope. Then I'm coming with you. Okay, we get another. That catches you by surprise. The chieftain rubs his chin but doesn't argue. From the training she's given, I'll let you no doubt she can handle a bowl. Fine, I'll get the townspeople ready. Make your move, Ivor. We'll leave when you're clear. I want Gil with us, says Ivor. If something happens to us, I need him to tell the chieftain. Ivor goes off to find them. I'll let find you. I know what you're doing, and you had to let me come, she says. Don't leave me. I'll be good. Okay, I'll let. Just promise to listen. Okay, <laughs> I promise, she says. Ivor soon finds you both. Let's go, remember? Let's go. Remember, you're not going to fight them all. We're just getting their attention. You step into the town courtyard where you can already see dredge in every direction. Ivor starts banging his shield and swearing at them. We kill a few, he shouts, and the rest will follow. You steal yourself for a tough fight. Okay. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this one. Um, you had to tune in next time for the fight. Hopefully father and daughter won't go down in this one. And hopefully Ivor and his charge won't go down either. We'll see how well we do in this one. I've got a little bit better feel for the their abilities now, though I don't know what she can do. Probably better than what she can since she's... Oh, God. They're injured, too. Crap. Uh, well, like I said, that's all the time I got for this one. You have a catch the battle in the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. That's always greatly appreciated. And I uh, hope you catch me in the next one. As always, see you later. And I'm Mike Like signing off. More wood. <gasps> hardwood log. Hardwood log. Hardwood log. Hardwood log. Stupid deer. That's a deer I hurt before. Hardwood log, gonna find my pirate ship. Woo wee, pirate ship.
this one, that's good. I'm glad we know. Okay, that's just bullshit. You don't have to hold down the button, it makes things much easier. Okay. Reminds me of Crimson Skies. That stupid goddamn temple level. <laughs> 